Hi everyone, um, I have a quick haul to share with you and a card. Um, I got my order from MFT from their new release. I didn't really, um, I only got a couple things from the new release, but I did get some stamps that were just um, some older stamps. And then I got a few things from the scrapyard. So I'm going to start out with um, the stamp here. Um, I think this was on the new release last month. So, and I really wanted it. Um, I love anything peace sign and tie dye. And um, I debated about getting her because I am not very good at Copic coloring, trying, but so much fine detail with her arms and glasses and stuff. I didn't know if I could color it, but I decided what the heck, I'm going to get it. So I got her, which is the one I made the card with. So I'll show you at the end. Super cute, I thought. Um, and I have boys, so I like the little boy stamps. The girls, um, you know, they're cute, but um, I thought this one was really cute. So I got this. And um, I got a die um, that I wanted to try with this. Um, I'll get to it when I, I'll show you when I get to it. But um, it's the tree branch because I thought about, you know, um, die cutting the tree branch, make it stick out a little bit and then hang in the swing from that. So when I get to it, I'll show you that one. So I got that stamp. And then I got this one here. And um, same thing, I got a die set from, oh, from eBay. I did get a couple of things from eBay that um, the little camera dies and um, I thought it would be really cute with this one. So I got this one here and then I got this. So I thought she was really cute. Be easy to color. Like I said, I'm not good at coloring with my Copic yet so I'm trying to take it <laughs> to take it easy on some easy coloring. And then um, a couple of things I got from their new release was the banner die. Um, thought that was really cute. I like that. And then I got the um, the alphabets that go with it so you can um, you know stamp inside the banner you want and you know write a message or hello happy birthday whatever so I got those so those from were from the new release as far as I know the alphabet was too and then um, I got some dies um, here's the um, the tree branch one and I thought that it might be cute to try to incorporate these I don't know the branch is probably too big but I wasted my money so but I did get this die I'm hoping to use it with this stamp here and then um, I picked up the peace sign die which I've used already in my card because I had to have that to go with her so I got those two together and then um, the other dies I got was I went ahead and got the Eiffel Tower die had my eye on it for a long time, and um, Mill used hers when we did um, a Valentine's swap, and it's really cute, so I went ahead and picked it up. Never know when I'll use it, but at least I'll have it. And then from eBay, I got these couple of dies, um, just the larger um, floral, um, I don't know what it is, just a swirl. I had this one already, and um, it's very tiny, and I bought some stuff from the scrapyard, and this was another die that was included with a bunch of ones I got and I already have it so I don't know if I'm going to hang on to it, sell it, get rid of it, I don't know. But I wanted something that was a little larger for when making cards so I got this one. And then I thought this was so cute. I've, I guess I've seen them but never really paid attention so I thought that those would go really cute together um, for making a card. So excited to try that one out. And then from the scrapyard I got well, these spellbinders. I don't know if you can see them. So I got my camera at a funny angle, but I picked those spellbinders up. I think they were like $10 shipped. They were a really good deal. And then um, I got this today. Um, the stamp set was like $4 plus shipping or $4 shipped. I don't even remember. So, But I do love um, Eiffel Towers, Paris. Um, our living room is done like in a whole travel motif, um, like a vintage travel. So kind of like this stamp. I mostly got it though for the world stamp here. Um, I really liked that. So Try to um, find something to use that one with. I'll throw it in with my stash. And then um, the other things I got from the scrapyard were just some 6x6 six six paper pads. I got this one here. I got this one here. And I think these were two of them were $10 shipped. I don't remember. I, yeah, I think that's what they were. $10 shipped for the two of them. I know it's not a great deal, but um, I like the papers, so I get tired of going out and looking for them. And then these next four, I got all four of these. Um, I got this one and this one. 
this one with the purples, which I'm not crazy about purple. So, but got that one and this one. So those four I got for $12 shipped. So that was a good deal. So, oh, and I forgot to show you the three stamps that I got um, from MFT with my order. I really, this was my favorite one right here. Happy birthday to you. That was mostly why I tried to make sure I hit the $60 mark to get that free stamp. So, but there's some other cute ones on there. So, um, got to show you that. And then lastly is my card that I made with my little piece girl. Um, like I said, not good at Copic coloring, trying to get better. The shading just like loses me. <laughs> so I guess just practice, practice. So, but I colored her and I cut her out with the spell binders and um, put her up on some pop dots. And I had this ribbon, which kind of matched this paper. I was really surprised. So I did that, and then I used my little peace sign die, cool beans, and then on the inside I just did the yellow because I figured you could still write on that and see it, so, and used the larger peace sign that cut out. But, so, that's my card. Like I said, I need to get a lot more practicing in with the Copics, so, time. <laughs> so, it'll get better, but I wanted to, to use her. I didn't want to throw her away after I made it, so I went ahead and made this little card. I'll just enclose it with a rack or... Just a little card to, to give away with something. but So, that's it, guys. I just wanted to share those few things I got. And um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.